In this video, I am going to solve this system of linear equations using the substitution method. And here is my system. Before I solve the system, let me uh, touch on three different scenarios that could happen here for a system of linear equations with uh, two equations. That means we are dealing with two straight lines. Um, one possibility is that they have a unique solution when the lines intersect at a single point unique solution second scenario is when the lines are parallel to each other meaning they have no solution that means they never meet um, and the third solution uh, third scenario is when the lines overlap uh, meaning one is on top of another let me use dots so in this case uh, we have infinite solutions infinite solutions now when we solve a system uh, the end result is going to be one of these three. Either it will have one solution, no solutions, or infinitely many solutions. Now let's go ahead and solve our system and see which one does it fall into, or which category, or which group does it fall into. Um, in this system, there is no x or y with uh, coefficients 1 or negative 1, so we just have to do it the hard way solve for x and y. So I'll take this first equation and solve for x, let's say. So it's 2x plus 3y is equal to 6. If I subtract 3y from both sides, I get 2x is equal to 6 minus 3y because this and this is going to cancel. Or divide both sides by 2 I will get 6 minus 3y over 2 that is equal to x. Now I will take this x value and plug it into this equation which is 3x minus 2y is equal to 2 or 3 times x, x is by the way 6 minus 2y, sorry 3y over 2 that is my x minus 2y is equal to 2. Now to get rid of the uh, fraction, I'm just going to multiply everything by 2. Multiply this by 2, this by 2, and this by 2. Then these will cancel out. I'll be left with 3 times 6 minus 3y. Then minus 2 times 2 is 4, and y is equal to 4. Now use the distributive property. 3 times 6 is 18 and then 3 times negative 3y is negative 9y minus 4y is equal to 4 or 18 minus 13y 9y minus 4y is 13y is equal to 4 and then I subtract 18 from both sides subtract 18 then I get these two cancel out negative 13y is equal to negative 14 because 4 minus 18 is 14 negative. Now I'm going to divide both sides by um, negative 13. That will give me y is equal to 14 over 13 because this negative cancel out and negative 13 and negative 13 cancel out. Now I got y is equal to 14 over 13. Now I can find the x and I will plug this y value into this. x is equal to 6 minus 3y over 2. So it's going to be x is equal to 1 half times 6 minus 3 times 14 over 13. Or x is equal to 1 half times 6 minus 3 times 14 is 42 divided by 13 or x is equal to 1 half times 6 is 6 times 13 over 13 
minus 42 over 13. I multiplied 6 by 13 and divided it by 13 uh, so that I could get 13 in the denominator. So x is equal to 1 half times 6 times 13 is 78 minus 42 over 13. That's going to give me, so let me just go here so that I can finish it off. X is equal to 1 half times, so 78 minus 42 is 36 times 36 over 13. 2 goes into 36, 18 times, so my X is going to be 18 over 13. So this system as it is, it has a solution which falls in this category and that solution is by the way x comma y is equal to 18 over 13 comma 14 over 13 and that's what it is. I hope that this discussion was helpful. Thank you very much.